mechanical weeding systems are starting to come more into the focus in conventional agriculture, particularly with herbicide resistance and increased pressure on herbicide usage and maximum loadings. So if you have the ability to weed between the rows and possibly band spray on top of the rows, you're reducing the application loading across the entire field by some considerable margin. Also, weeds that are becoming herbicide resistant are looking to be more of a target for mechanical systems. Uh, hopefully, by teasing out the best combinations of weeding machinery, uh, we can maximise our yield potentials. We need to use the best machines suitable for our saw types to do the best job that we can. The trial was set up in January with five treatments, uh, one of the treatments being uh, untreated uh, and the other four treatments are the Opico, Haracomb, the TRP, uh, the Garford hoe and the comb cut uh, which is used in conjunction with the Opico. The trial will be taken through to harvest with combine yields uh, to assess the different outcomes from each of the plots. The traditional laracomb that we normally use seems to still be the bedrock of what we need to be doing. And the ability of the other machines to come in after it and be treating things in a more specific way at different timings, particularly with the comb cut coming in a bit later, taking out the taller weeds that come up above the crop. And also with the Garford hoe being able to actually precisely hoe uh, down between the rows uh, and reduce crop competition that way. On the day, hopefully, the sun will be shining and you will be able to see uh, the effects of the different weeding systems that have happened in the winter wheat crop through uh, the end of March and in, into early April. Uh, and also, you will be able to see the machines working in a spring wheat crop alongside it. So you'll be able to see what they're actually doing on the day.